Hello everyone, and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lately, the bold and the beautiful has turned viewers into the fretful and the worried. But as fears grow that Eric's final fashion line might also mark the character's finish line, there is a ray of hope peeking through the dark clouds. And in fact, that ray of hope has a very familiar face. Is there a doctor in the mansion? When Eric's family, outside of significant other Donna and Branson RJ, learns of his condition, they are sure to have the same thought that we did. Why aren't we consulting Bridget on this? What's the point of being related to a doctor after all if you can't get him to cure what ails you? There is nothing that Bridget wouldn't do for her family, Ashley Jones tells Soaps.com, adding that her on-screen alter ego has a very special relationship with her father. I think she and Eric are particularly close, maybe because things haven't always been easy with her mom. Yeah, that'll happen when mom becomes a rival for not one but two of the men in your life, Deacon first, then Nick. The question remains, is there anything that Bridget can do for her dad? As yet, we don't have a diagnosis. So is Eric's condition treatable? Terminal? What? Perhaps the key lies not only in Bridget and her medical acumen, but in newcomer Luna, who is being warned by a mystery woman to steer clear of the foresters. Maybe Eric will need a bone marrow transplant or something, and lo and behold, the only person who can provide it is this mystery woman. Read more about her here. What do you think? Are you fearful that Eric is doomed? Or no way would bold and beautiful write off OG John McCook? And wrote to the comments, see what the actor has to say in the below photo gallery about his character's many on-screen loves.